There are often times when you're working in your AutoCAD electrical project where a supplier might not have the particular component you need. So you have to source an alternative supplier. Their information is not in your AutoCAD electrical part catalogue. So you have to edit the part catalogue and put their information in. Now before we go any further, I've got a new project there, Custom Components, and I've made sure that the JIC Editing Part Catalogue drawing is listed there as Sheet 001. I've done all that for you this time. Don't forget to check, though, that your drawings are always part of your project drawing list. So let's go and look at our two pilot lights here that we've got in a circuit. I've got a red one here. I'll click on it. Right click, Edit Component. Component tag is LT1. I'm going to put a description in of pilot light, and I'm going to tab down to line 2 and put red in there because it's a red one, hence the R on the pilot light. And then I'm going to go to the catalogue data, our part catalogue here, and go to Lookup. Now, at the moment, our current manufacturer in our database is AB. They don't have any of what we need. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here and add the information. Now, you'll notice it's a big dialogue box, lots of information. Fortunately, you only need to put in the bold ones with the asterisk. They're the required fields. It says that at the bottom. And one thing I would do, always force your text into uppercase. The reason being, one, it's easier to read, but also it avoids any of those errors where people might miss something because it's lowercase rather than uppercase. So the catalogue is going to be an Acme 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's a red one, so it's an R. So it's an Acme 1, 2, 3, 4, R. Manufacturer is Acme, and the type is a pilot light dash red. Now you'll notice I've put some lowercase in there. It doesn't matter because it's going to force the text to uppercase for me. And the voltage is 120 volts, like so. So I've put in the required fields. So if I now OK that, you'll see, look, pilot light is in uppercase. There's the Acme 1234R. You can see some previous examples that I've worked with there as well. But I'm going to use the new one, the Acme 1234R without the dash in it. I'll OK that now. It goes into our component data there. I click on OK. Job done. There's our pilot light red. So let's go through that one more time, but with our green pilot light. So there's our green pilot light there. You select the component, right click, and on our little flashlight menu, select Edit Component. Component tag is LT2, the next obviously sequential component tag. And I'm going to put the description in again pilot light, tab to line two, and we'll say that's green this time. Same again. I go down to the part catalog data here, click on Look Up. There's the AB ones. I need to add my Acme green pilot light. So catalog this time will be Acme 1234G for green. Manufacturer will be Acme again. And again, I'm just filling out the main ones, the bold ones with the asterisks. Type will be pilot light dash green. And again, it will be 120 volts. So I filled in what I need to fill in. I click on OK. There it is there, the 1234G. I'll OK that now. That updates there in the catalog data for the component. I OK it. And there's my pilot light green as well. So that's how you edit the part catalog if you need to add new manufacturers, new components, new data. In the previous video, we looked at the quick sort of tips and tricks version of editing the part catalog. What I want to show you now is how to edit the part catalog in more detail. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at our green pilot light here. And I'm going to right click and edit component just like we've done before. And you can see it's pilot light green. All the information is still there. And our catalog at the moment is the Acme 1234G. Remember that for when we get a little bit further in this video. So we go to look up like so. And there's our Acme pilot light there. Now, if I click on plus there like so, I can add a catalog item or I can edit a catalog record. Be aware of that because I can edit the existing catalog record. If I create a new one with the same name, I'll show you what happens, shall I? If I just cancel that for a moment and go here like this, I'll bring the dialog box down. It looks the same because basically I've got this Acme 1234G highlighted. I'll leave that there. I'll change the description. So let's look for a 120XFMR red LED module there. I'll change that information there. I might put some user information in there, such as it will be the Acme 
manual and it will be equals let's say acme underscore man underscore zero zero one so that might be the acme manual that you need to use for the installation of that light you could even put a web link in there if you wanted to so we'll do that as well www.acme.com so that information is in there as soon as i click on ok sorry you can't do that now the reason i can't do that is it's telling me the new record has catalog manufacturer and assembly code matching another entry in the table I cannot create another record with those same bits of information. As soon as you put them in the database, they're unique. They are a unique, what they call primary key in the database for that particular record in the database. So I'll OK that and I'll cancel that. So I can't go into this add, but what I can do is select my G there and edit instead. Now, the good thing about this is if I'm editing, I'm editing the existing record in the database. So I'll go for the description again. So there's my red XFMR, and we went for the three, I think it was there. Miscellaneous, so let's pick the miscellaneous information. So it's 120 volts AC, let's say. Other miscellaneous information, I might put some more information in there, like it's got a black bezel, maybe. And again, I'll put the user in there, so I'll put Acme manual, and again, I'm spelling it correctly, and it'll be Acme underscore MAN underscore 001. So there's my Acme manual that I need for the installation. I'll put the web link in again, www.acme.com. Now, if I OK it this time, I don't get any errors because I'm editing rather than adding. So be careful with those little buttons at the top. If you're putting in a lot of detailed information, you might have just quickly put what I call the shortcut information, the required information in there. You might want to go back and edit that later. Once you've got the component from the supplier and you've got all their specification, you can then go and update the part catalog further. So make sure you use the edit, that one there, edit catalog record, not add a catalog item. So I'll OK that now and it updates the information. Nothing changes here in the edit component dialog box. I just OK that. But it's just put more information into the database and into the part catalog, allowing you, when you generate your reports, to have more information.